you take is the bus measurement. The bus measurement is the full roundness of the bus. Take the measurement to the side like this and dip one of your finger in. After that, the next measurement is a waist measurement. It's always good you ask for the navel part. That is the female natural waist. So you take the full roundness of the navel. This is your natural waist measurement. So after taking that, you use your tape through as a guide to form a straight line to the side to achieve your hip measurement. This is also known as hip depth. Taking 20 to 25 cm down. And this is the widest part of the hip, which is your hip. So you're taking the full roundness of that part like this. Also dip one of your finger in for the hip measurement. So after doing that, the next measurement is your chest width. Your chest width from the base of the neck, you are dropping down 10 to 12 cm down the widest part of the chest. That is where you use as your chest width. If you check the chest width like this, always drop both hands down, both hands should be down like this. So you take the measurement of your chest width like this. After doing your chest width measurement, the next one is your back width. Now turn to the back. Now you're using from the neck down the same 10 to 12 cm down. The widest part is what you are using as your back weight. So you're taking the measurement from one end to another. So the next one now is back length to waist. Your back length to waist, you are using your neck down to the back. The waist part, the part that is deep inside. Now you're taking the measurement from your novel, you form a straight line to this point. Then you find that this is your, also your novel, but this time it's the back part that you're using. So this is a back length to waist. Next measurement now is length of under bust. The length of under bust is from your shoulder down to this point. This is your length of under bust. After doing this, then the next one is your round under bust. The round under bust measurement same point where you have your length of under bust, take the full roundness of that part, which is your length, which is your round under bust. Tighten your under, round under bust, you now move to your shoulder measurement. Your shoulder measurement, you are dropping from where the neck drops to your shoulder blade. This is the shoulder blade. Can you see your hand? Your hand is moving. This part where you have the joint, this is your shoulder blade. And you're taking it. Don't do shoulder to shoulder. Do from where the neck drops to your shoulder blade. This is the shoulder measurement. And after doing that, the next one is your sleeve measurement for your top. So the person to pose like this. Then you take from your shoulder blade down to where you have your wrist. So this is your sleeve length. And your sleeve weight, place your hand like this. Take the full roundness of that part. Make sure the tape through is coming out like this. This is your sleeve width measurement. And if you're also making a shape with this, you still need to take the curve measurement. The curve measurement, you're taking the full roundness, dip your hand and make sure you have a little bit of ease around this part of the wrist. Now the next one is your dress measurement. Your dress measurement, you don't need body's measurement already, so you don't need anything other thing for the dress measurement. So what you just need to take is the desired length. The desired length, now you're taking it from your shoulder, down to your desired length. You are taking the table, the table should pass through the bust part like this, down to your desired length. So once you have this measurement, add it together with your with your top measurement. That's for the dress. That's all.